Hi, in this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, our focus will be on PayPal's Buy Now, Pay Later option known as Pay In For. Like the name suggests, this approach allows the customer to pay off an item they purchase in four equal installments. While the customer is paying the item off, the merchant receives the total cost up front. This allows the merchant to ship the item once the first payment is transacted. Let's take a quick look at the finer details of PayPal's Pay In For and then we'll move on to look at a sandbox transaction where pay in for is used. As a merchant, you won't incur any additional costs if your customers choose to use the pay in for option. They will, however, have to pay late fees if they don't make their payments on time. It may help your business grow as you'll be able to offer that pay in for option for your customers who can't afford to pay in one lump sum. There's no extra risk for your business and it's just another thing you can promote that you offer. Let's now take a look at a sandbox transaction when paying for is used. In the following example, we've used the WP Express checkout plugin to create this product and the buy now button, which will use a sandbox account to now check out with that paying for option. So I'm just running through a basic example and we're gonna check out with the PayPal buy now option. And as I said, we're just in a sandbox account. You'll see the option to buy now, pay later. So let's scroll down and take a look at that. We'll need to select that pay in for option. So under pay later, there's that pay in for. We'll just select that now. And I've chosen to pay in four payments of 53.48 each payment. So then in that overview, It'll come to a total of $213.90, but in four payments. So that gives me that option to pay in four payments so I don't have that one lump sum. So I won't pay any sign up fees, no interest, the payments are automatically deducted and it won't impact my credit score. So if I'm happy with my billing address and my phone number, I'll just need to click that agree and apply button. They need to just review my application and once that's approved I'll be able to continue with my selected bank account. I'll just need to agree to terms and conditions as well. As you can see I've been approved for the pay in for option and now I just need to click that pay now to submit that first payment from my bank account. So once I click that pay now button that does transact that first amount of $53. My transaction was successful. The first total has been subtracted from my bank account and I can expect to have three more subtracted in the next six weeks. So as you can see, the paying for option by PayPal is very simple for your customer to actually use. It's simple for you to implement as well as you don't need to do anything other than actually have a plugin that allows you to accept PayPal. So a great plugin that will allow you to do that is Tips and Tricks HQ's WP Express Checkout plugin. So this is a free plugin that you can find on wordpress.org and you can download it simply from there. We've got a few other tutorials that you might like to watch that'll help you set up that WP Express Checkout plugin. Once you've installed that and you've set it up, and you've got some buy now buttons, your customers will have the option to use the paying for option by PayPal if they're in a country where that has already been released. For example, if you live in Australia, the paying for option is coming very soon in 2021, so stay tuned. If you're in the United States, you're already able to use that paying for option. So if you don't already have a PayPal plugin enabled to accept payments for services or goods that you have on your website, now is the time to do that to allow your customers to use that paying for option rather than having to pay for a large amount upfront. If you have any further questions or queries about paying for with the WP Express checkout, don't hesitate to contact us here at Tips and Tricks HQ.